This is Prophetess Dehima McLean here with Kingdom Global Impact Network. And we preach the unadulterated and valuable word of God, legislating God's kingdom right here on earth. And today's prayer point will be for those who are single and who want to get married, but yet there are barriers. There are many people that are single and can't seem to get married, no matter what they do or how good they are. There are some that are even emotionally unavailable and they can't be bothered while others experience divorce and habitual failed relationships. And it's just designed so that you will give up on love and happiness. A lot of these issues that you are considering to be normal is actually demonically influenced. The spirit of Asmodeus, Jezebel, Incubus, Succubus spirit is constricting and destroying your life and your covenant relationships. But I decree and declare today that by the power of the Holy Ghost that you shall be set free. We must pray and break the demonic assignment that will cause and plague your life so that you will never get married, have good relationships or friendship. Listen. I believe that the cycle is broken today. The spell is broken today. That witchcraft curse that was put upon your life is broken today. I decree and declare by the power of the Holy Ghost that you will marry and you will smile again. Let me give you some symptoms of spirit husbands and spirit wives. You are dealing with marital distress, sexual relationships and dreams, hatred of marriage, unpardonable sexual errors, wrong decisions, neglect and abandonment by the opposite sex, demonic dream assistance, swimming or seeing a river in your dream, missing one's menstrual period, pregnancy in the dream, breastfeeding in the dream, having a family in the dream, getting married in the dream, shopping with a man in the dream, seeing a man sleeping by one side in the dream, hatred by your earthly spouse, serious gynecological problems, having miscarriages, having fibroids, after sexual dreams, and dream marriages. Listen, oftentimes these are signs and symptoms that you are dealing with marital delays because your marriage has been buried on an altar in the sea. Let us begin to pray. Father God, in the mighty name of Jesus, every satanic covenant responsible for me being single and holding my marriage in bondage be destroyed by fire in the mighty name of Jesus. Every agent of darkness releasing word curses and incantations against my future spouse burned to ashes in name of Jesus. Every marine spirit that has illegally come into my life through any covenant, I break and sever every tie that has us bound together in the mighty name of Jesus. You spit a witchcraft blinding my partner's eyes so he or she won't locate me by the virtue of the blood. Be destroyed now in Jesus' name. I prophesy my marriage. Amen. Shall flourish and be prosperous. My husband shall locate me. Yes, God, my wife shall locate me in the mighty name of Jesus. Whatever gender you are, your marriage, amen, shall happen in Jesus' name. Marriage shall be a portion in Jesus' name. Every spirit, husband, or spirit, right. <clears throat> Release me by fire in the name of Jesus. Every spirit of husband or wife, I divorce you by the blood of Jesus. Every spirit of husband or wife, die in the name of Jesus. Everything you have deposited in my life, I command you to come out in the name of Jesus. Every power that is working against my marriage uh, so that my husband will not locate me, uh, fall down and die in Jesus' name. Uh, I divorce uh, and renounce my marriage uh, with any spirit, husband, or wife in the name of Jesus. Uh, I break all covenants, pact, vows uh, that I have entered into illegally through any spirit, husband, or wife now in Jesus' name. Uh, I command the thunder and the fire of God uh, to burn to ashes and wedding gown, ring, photographs, and all other materials uh, used by, uh, by any witch for my marriage in Jesus' name. Uh, I retrieve my marriage from under the sea uh, in the satanic kingdom that it has been buried against me any demon that is blinding the eyes of my husband so that my husband would not be able to see me. I command his eyes to be open now in Jesus name. I decree and declare that my husband will not be distracted by any powers of Jezebel, any spirit of Delilah or Athalia, but my husband shall locate me in the mighty name of Jesus. God, I pray for his mind right now that he will not be discouraged, but he will not be dismayed, confused, deal with mind control, sexual sins, immorality, lust, perversion, masturbation, but God, my husband shall locate me. I decree and declare by the power of the Holy Ghost uh, that every veil 
that has been put over me so that my husband will not be able to see me or locate me. I command it to be removed right now. God, I speak that our marriage shall be a marriage of one of holy matrimony. In the mighty name of Jesus, my husband shall locate me this year. No longer will he be confused or fearful or indecisive about locating me in the mighty name of Jesus. But I decree and declare that our marriage shall glorify God in Jesus' name. I break every blood and soul tie covenant with any spirit of husband or wife in the name of Jesus. I send thunder and fire of God to burn to ashes the children born, hallelujah, through any satanic marriages. I withdraw my blood or the man's sperm or any other parts of my body deposited on the altar of the spirit of husband or wife now in Jesus' name. You spiritual husband a wife tormented me in my dream or even my earthly marriage. I bind you now in the mighty name of Jesus. I return to send up every evil material deposited in my body right now as a result of sexual sin in the mighty name of Jesus. I decree and declare by the power of the Holy Ghost that my marriage shall be prosperous. My marriage shall be blessed in the name of Jesus. My husband and I shall do ministry together. And right now in the mighty name of Jesus, I decree and declare that every sex demon that is coming to me in the name of Hallelujah of a familiar spirit is destroyed now. I purge it out of my life. I purge right now. Hallelujah. My body with the blood of Jesus. And I take back and repossess my possession of any spirit that has my blessings in custody. That have my spirit in custody. My husband in custody. Hallelujah. Or the wife in custody. I renounce and reject the name given to me by any spirit of husband. I hereby declare myself free from every spiritual husband now in the mighty name of Jesus. I paralyze the powers of darkness as trying to control my marriage in Jesus name. Every trademark of evil marriage uh, that it has been deposited in my life. Uh, I decree and declare that it is vomited out now in the mighty name of Jesus. And I bring to a halt uh, right now in Jesus' name uh, every satanic powers that want to cause uh, blockages, uh, barricades, embargoes in my life. Uh, and I decree and declare today that I am free and whom the sun set free is free indeed. I thank you right now that my joy shall be remain full. Uh, I thank you by God, by the power of the Holy Spirit, that I will no longer be dismayed, discouraged, but our marriage shall glorify God. My marriage shall be blessed. My marriage shall flourish in the mighty name of Jesus because we are this blessed seed of Abraham. We are blessed and are going out and are coming in. Yes, God, hallelujah. I thank you right now that you are anointing myself and my husband from the crown of our head to the very soles of our feet. I thank you right now that our marriage, Holy Spirit, shall last. It shall have longevity that it will be free of adultery, free of sexual immorality, free from any confusion, division, strife, through any satanic spirit, through any serpentine spirit. In the mighty name of Jesus, God, I thank you right now by the power of the Holy Ghost, that God, you are sending your powers of deliverance to set us free from every marital delay. I even come against that spirit of discouragement that will not cause us to want to get married because of fear, because of being hurt, because of being betrayed, because of not being able to trust, not being able to love again through trauma, through rape, molestation, being hurt, broken hearted. And I thank you right now, God, that you are bringing restoration according to Isaiah 43 and 19. You said, behold, I shall do a new thing. Now it shall spring forth, shall we not know it? Jeremiah 29 verses 11 says... For I know the thoughts that I think toward you, saith the Lord, thoughts of good and not of evil, to give you an expected end. Eyes have not seen, nor ears have heard, neither has it entered into the hearts of men, the things that you have prepared for us, God. And I thank you right now that all things shall work together for the good, for them that love the Lord, for those that are called according to your purpose. Yes, God, in the mighty name of Jesus. So once again, God, I thank you right now that we are going to begin to walk in a season of engagement, a season of marriages, a season of covenant, God. I decree and declare by the power of the Holy Spirit that our lives shall glorify you. We will be, hallelujah, married and have longevity in our marriage. Divorce shall not be a portion. Separation shall not be a portion. Our marriage shall be a 
uh, an example to the kingdom in the mighty name of Jesus. And now, God, we soak ourselves in the blood. I soak my husband in the blood. I dip myself in the blood. And I dip my marriage covenant in the blood. And I thank you right now that, God, as of today, hallelujah, that our marriage shall be blessed and shall be prosperous in Jesus' mighty name. Amen and amen.